So I've started filming this several times now and people keep coming by. And so I haven't been able to, this is my third take. Anyway, um, again, this is a super like messy channel. It doesn't really have any purpose except me making videos about things I think I can help other people with. Um, this one is gonna be a makeup video. Uh, <laughs> the reason why is because every single time I try to look for someone with my specific skin tone and try to found, find the foundation that I'm supposed to use for this skin tone, I would always be typing in something like, uh, makeup tutorial for brown skin, makeup tutorial for Indian skin, and then I would keep scrolling, trying to find a person who had my exact skin tone, and I couldn't find anybody. <laughs> Um, and then furthermore, every time that I watch one of these videos, I was like, okay, this one's kind of close enough to brown as me. Every time I watch one of those videos, the person would be like, oh yeah, if you're like a person of color, if you have like, uh, like medium toned skin or you're, you're Indian, you probably have warm toned skin. And that's what they would say. And so I would be like, okay, yeah, sure. I have warm toned skin. And then I would go and I would buy foundation and I would always be like, okay, I'll get a warm toned foundation because I'm a POC. So I have warm toned skin. Like that must be true. Um, I would keep getting these foundations. And every time I wore one, it would either make me like super pale, look like a ghost or like super yellow or like super dark. It was just never the right color or like too pink. I don't know. There was, I just could not find the color that matched. And then I eventually figured out that I have olive toned skin um, and, you know, either olive or like neutral. But I didn't have warm toned skin at all. Like I didn't, like not at all. Um, and, you know, I should put pictures of myself in like various lighting so you guys see like what kind of colors I was working with. Because, you know, my color changes a lot throughout the seasons as many Indians do. And so basically I realized that I, would, I did not have warm toned skin. And then I found the foundation that worked for me. And then I'm then I was basically like, okay, I should probably make a YouTube video about this so that another person who is doing the same thing as me and scrolling for like Indian skin makeup tutorial will actually find someone that matches their skin tone for once. I'm sure there are some other olive tone skin Indians out there. Like I'm sure that exists. So this is the foundation I use. Kind of don't want to put it on my face. I brought all my makeup tutorials, so I don't really not not tutorials tools but I don't really want to put it on my face I think I should I don't know I'm not sure but anyway I'll tell you what foundation I use so this is uh stay naked I think it's rare beauty um and it's 60 nn should I do the makeup thing that's that's what it is this isn't even a real cam this is my laptop webcam like I don't think that I have to do that um, yeah, so it's the Stay Naked Foundation, and it's 60NN, so that's, that's your color, if you look like me, and I'll try to figure out how to, like, put pictures so you know that, like, you know what my skin tone exactly is, because, again, it changes, but this works for, like, almost every time I try to put on makeup, this color works really well, um, so this is definitely the color, I really recommend it forget how much it costs i think it's like kind of expensive but i think it's worth it because like this is a pretty big bottle and i don't wear makeup all the time it's just something to have so yeah um and then the concealer is a different brand because i bought the wrong color concealer when i was buying off of rare beauty so then i went to the store and i got tar tarte tarte i don't know something french and um and this is the concealer, and and it's 35N medium. So that's your, if you look like me, that's your um, concealer color. Um, in terms of, like, other makeup that I brought, uh, this is just a lip color that looks really nice on me as an olive, to as someone of olive-toned Indian experience. Um, it's the Wet n' Wild Liquid Katsu. I've never read the names on these before. Um, and it's... 945B Cedar Later. I think I'll just put these in the description too. Um, and let's see. Okay, so the other items I have in here, I don't think that they're that important. Maybe I should just do a makeup. Oh yeah, and another thing is that orange tones look really nice on your lips. So like if you, not just orange because it'll make you look washed out, 
but if you have like a dark color or like a red color and you put like an orange gloss on your lips i don't know what this is i got it from a friend um it's water drop tint stick and um i think it says i mean okay it says made in korea none of the language is in english so i can't really read any of it but it's called water drop orange so if you know like what what this gloss is then you can probably get that um that's about it honestly i feel like i should probably put it on because um i don't know it might be fun but i don't really know what to talk about while i do it i just feel like i should like put it on also like i wanted to get all the products out of the way in the beginning so if you don't want to watch the whole video of me putting makeup on my face like incorrectly by the way because i don't really know how to do it then you can just you can just exit out now i won't even be mad i wouldn't even be mad about it um did i not bring a mirror i guess i can use the webcam but then i'll look weird because i'll be peering in the camera and then that will make me look odd let me just use this this will work this is from etsy i forget who the seller was i'm sorry i'm sorry queen um this is so embarrassing i wonder how people do this um oh yeah i should probably show what the foundation looks like on my face that's my bad for real but okay that's how it looks like i don't know if you saw it um i'm also not applying this right i'm not someone who's a makeup artist i just just want to help my friends out um just want to help my homies out Oh gosh, that person has the same car as my mom. That's incredible. And so cool. Um, I feel like people are supposed to talk about things while they do this. I guess I will talk about my makeup journey. I don't remember it. Well, the first time I wore makeup... <laughs> The first time I think I wore makeup, oh yeah, I do remember, I know it. The first time I wore makeup was for my senior portrait. Um, I didn't wear makeup in high school because I didn't know how, and also my parents are strict, were strict, so that's why I didn't do that. You should probably, this would have looked better if I had put primer on first that I completely forgot about. I used the e.l.f. primer. Just the mineral one. That's the one I use. Um, but uh, clearly I didn't use it right now, so I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, so the first time I wore makeup was for the senior portrait. And I look so green. Like, I somehow exemplified, exemplified, highlighted uh, all my green tones. Like, for whatever, whatever. Like, I got, like, okay. Back then, like, I would look at the container and I would be like, Okay, yeah, this is my color, and it would be just be ghost white. I don't know why I thought I was white um, in senior year of high school, but yeah, I got like a really white color. And then I was like, this looks awful. Not this. Um, that's what I said in senior year. But anyway, I got like a really light pink lipstick, like really white foundation. Um, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Okay, there we go. And it just looks really bad. I wonder if I can edit a picture in of, like, what I look like. I mean, I think that might be mean to my younger self or whatever. But it looks really bad. And I also had bangs. Um, not that that's a bad thing. But it just looked weird on me. Um. And so... That was my first experience with makeup. And then, basically, after I saw how the pictures turned out, I was like, I'm never wearing makeup again. But I did wear makeup again. <laughs> um, the next time I wore makeup, I didn't do it myself. This is the concealer, by the way. Um, the next time I wore makeup, I didn't do it by myself. I It was for prom. So I was like, I can't mess up my prom makeup. Like, I can't look bad. So... Um, so I got it professionally done, but I didn't get it professionally done by people who necessarily know about Indian makeup. Like, again, like, it was, like, kind of wrong shades, like, wrong... Ooh, I messed that up. 
Um, it was again like wrong shades. Uh, they colored my eyebrows in super dark, which looked super weird. Um, they gave me like a bunch of like pink things or like because I was wearing a pink, I was wearing a dress with like pink embroidery on it. So because of that, they gave me a bunch of like pink toned eyeshadow and like lip colors and it just looked bad because um I don't really look good in bright pinks like that just doesn't look good on me and so again I looked pretty bad with that even though it was professionally done um so again I was like I don't know how I'm gonna get into makeup even though I really wanted to um even though I really wanted to get into makeup at that time because especially in senior year of high school I was like extremely insecure about how I looked like I was like very very hyper like like I was posting on like reddit am I ugly like I was really <laughs> like I was really insecure um so basically and you know that's because I was like bullied a lot about my looks especially in middle school but that's how middle school is but it shouldn't be like that but that is how it is and so I got bullied a lot where is my little brush there's my little brush so yeah I got bullied a lot and then um so I was like I really like want to learn how to do makeup because I was seeing all these like I was really obsessed with um watching makeup transformations oh this is like the eyeshadow colors I use I don't know it's just elf it's like one of their uh, color triads triads there are four I don't know quad quadrains I don't know um but basically, yeah, so I was really insecure. And I was like, hmm, you know, like, I felt like makeup just wasn't working for me. But I really wanted to do it because I was still really insecure about how it looked. And so basically when I got to the point where the first year of college, I went to community college, by the way. The first year of college, I think, was good for me because... I dyed my hair, um, like, I dyed it purple, and I did a bunch of stuff with my looks that, like, you know, was not about me looking better, looking better, but more, like, looking, like, fun in, in the ways that I wanted to look, and so I just, like, like, I just, I didn't have that much time my first year of college because I was working a lot, but... I went to makeup stores and I would just look at what they had and I would just like for the first time I would just sort of like buy things that looked nice or like looked appealing to me and I would just like try them on so I tried my first like highlighter on um I kept trying eyeshadow I kept getting pencil eyeshadow and as you can see like the way that the way that my eye shape is is very crinkly and like I don't know what the word is but um maybe uh double lid or something i'm not sure what the word is but it's like when you have a lot of creases double crease yeah maybe it's that um but the pencil eyeshadow didn't work on me but i was too nervous to get liquid because i was like oh that's for like the professionals no it's not like the pencil eyeliner like it wasn't doing anything like it kept smudging it looked horrible on me it gave me a smoky eye every time i wore it out I would wear it to work at Target and then I would just end the day looking like I had like big black clouds on like both eyes. Just looked so weird. Um so I would really recommend like if you're beginning and you're and you keep using pencil eyeliner. Honestly I don't use eyeliner anymore really because I realized that it doesn't really look that good on me at all because I just have so many little creases that the thing that looks best for me is to just take like a dark color and put it on the outer corner a little bit and then that that accomplishes like the effect I'm looking for which I don't know what effect I'm looking for um but yeah so basically I kept trying to use pencil eyeshadow and it didn't work so I just started buying like liquid liner because I was like I think that would look better and then like, I bought highlighter, as I said, and I bought, um, what else did I buy? I bought, like, just fun eyeshadow palettes, and I just put them on my lids for fun, honestly. And eventually I got to the point where... Oh, no. 
eventually got to the point where my makeup was looking pretty good, like pretty okay. Like I understood the basics of like, even though I couldn't find the right foundation shade still, I just kind of put on a different shade and I would put it on and it would look okay. And I started to understand the basics of like, okay, this is foundation, this is concealer. I'm a little bit of a darker color. Um, pencil eyeshadow doesn't work for me. Like I started to learn those basics in like my first year of college and my second year of college. So that was good. And at that time I was also developing my confidence in other like areas like writing and stuff that I cared about. So it stopped me as big of a, not deal to me, but as like, urgent and like life stopping as it was because I was really convinced that looking ugly was like completely ruining my life and stuff like that and then once I got into college I stopped thinking like that this looks a little weird well whatever it's not my business um and anyway so that was good and I think I started getting really into makeup more like during the pandemic because I was bored <laughs> <laughs> that's it I think I mean I don't know if that's it but I understood the basics in my first and second year of college but basically when I downloaded TikTok all the sort of self insecurities kind of came back where I was like oh so many of these people are so much prettier than me and are so much more like popular than me because of their looks and stuff like that and like so when I downloaded TikTok it just really, I think, messed with my self-image and, like, again, and I think I started to get, like, really influenced by what was happening in the outside world again because I wasn't able to, like, really do anything for myself because it was a pandemic. And that was also the time where, if you see the other video on my channel, the one other video, um, that was also the time when my disease was at its worst, so I was super insecure <laughs> getting a disease and getting insecure I mean I was like I was like I was insecure in the sense I was like oh why am I struggling with this like I shouldn't be struggling with this or like I shouldn't like I was in denial about the fact that I was sick so I was like oh why am I struggling with getting up like I'm so worthless like those kinds of thoughts were in my head so I started getting really into makeup for that reason too because like when those thoughts are in your head like my memories of like being bullied resurfaced and stuff like that and it was bad so that's why I was feeling that way and so then I got back into makeup again and I bought a bunch more products I bought like setting spray I bought like um contour products and stuff like that like I bought everything I bought a bunch of different types of glitter I bought like I don't know I tried a bunch of different eyeshadow looks too like blush everything it became really important to me again to like this eyeshadow look is looking kind of ridiculous um but it became very important to me again to look like beautiful in a way that other people thought I was beautiful which like from the beginning was always like a damaging thought for me and probably is kind of a damaging thought for everyone I mean I, th I guess you can get to the point where it's not damaging, but I think it is, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I definitely don't think it helped me to think that way. Yeah, I don't know, that's, that's the makeup. Um, maybe I will dab a little concealer on, tee -hee. Um, but basically, yeah, so during the pandemic I got really into, I don't want to put concealer again, I will put some blush. Um, yeah, during the pandemic I got really into makeup. I also dyed my hair a bunch of wacky colors though, which, or actually this was like, this was kind of after lockdown where I started to dye my hair wacky colors again. This is like, oh, it's so messy. Well, whatever, it's elf. Um, and so it was good. That was healing to do that. Um, I dyed my hair like bright orange. That was nice. And I do think that helped me in some ways. That's how I put blush on. It's gonna look weird, sorry. Um, and so yeah, so then after that, then I had another resurgence where I got super into matching my exact foundation shade because I was like, I just got really annoyed at the fact that my foundation never ever matched, like always looks a little off. So at that point I was like, okay, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna figure out my foundation shade. Like that's when I got really serious. And this was like not really any time when I was really struggling with my self image. This was just a time when I was like, I just wanna figure out what my skin tone is. Like, what is it? Um, so I think that was a good era. And I did figure it out. Sorry if this looks super weird. It's because of the way that I am. Um, yeah, so. Whoa, this color looks super weird. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, maybe this looks a little bit too much. <laughs> it looks so weird. Whoops, that's my bad. I probably have to put more foundation on to deal with this. I don't know why my makeup look is coming out so weird looking like this one time that I film it. I'm probably so nervous. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so what else is there to say about my makeup journey? Um, I don't know. I guess that. Hmm. I feel like that's all I really have to say about my makeup journey. That's pretty cool to reflect on and be like, oh yeah, that's how, that's how it went. Um, I'm gonna put a little more foundation on just cause I put too much blush on and it looks a little weird. Don't really know what to do about that. So I'm just gonna cover it up again. Um. So, yeah, that's my story with makeup. Um, I guess in terms of, maybe it would be nice to specify, like, what specifically I got bullied on and what specifically I was insecure about. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that would help anybody, but maybe it would. Um, <laughs> I never said I was a makeup expert. I just said I would help you match your shade. Uh, so... Yeah, the main things I got bullied on for how I looked was not really my skin tone, actually, because I grew up in the Bay Area and a lot of people were Indian, so that wasn't really, like, a thing that was happening for me. Um, but, like, this looks ridiculous. But, um... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll keep it like this for now, and I'll try to figure out some way to fix it later. Um, so yeah, I was bullied for like my nose shape. I was bullied for like my um, my my eyebrows. I was bullied for my eyebrows quite a bit. I actually got my eyebrows microbladed at one point, but it was not really that- Ah! It's just broke! Well, joke's on me. Um, it wasn't really that I necessarily wanted to get my eyebrows microbladed, but it was just that my roommate was microblading eyebrows for a living and wanted someone to put on uh, her portfolio. So, I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. I didn't know what microblading was. And so, I was like, this is really painful. I thought this was makeup. Why is it- why does it hurt so bad? Um, and then it turned out it was a tattoo or something. And I was like, you tattooed eyebrows on me? Like, I didn't say that because I was like, I don't really, I mean, I didn't really say that, of course. Um, I was just surprised because I looked it up later and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is, this is like a, this is like a tattoo. Um, didn't realize that at the time. That was just me being really stupid. But I think that's funny. But anyway, yeah, I got bullied for my eyebrows a lot. Um, I got bullied for my teeth a lot, but my teeth are very different. Like, I got braces after a lot of begging and stuff. And it really did mean a lot to me get, to get braces because I don't know if I ever would have gotten over that hurdle of, of how I looked without braces. Um, but anyway... Oh, I should probably show you the stick I'm using. It's a little queen stick. Um, it's, um, little... It's NYX. I'm just using my fingers now because I'm keeping it real with you guys. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, so basically, I still look a little washed out. Like, I'm seeing that now. I don't usually do my makeup outside because I don't usually go outside that much. <laughs> but, hold okay, on, let's do this. Yeah, so those are the things that I was most insecure about. I was insecure about my brows. I was insecure about my nose. I was insecure about my teeth. Um, I was a little bit insecure about my jaw, but I didn't really get bullied about that. So I was like, well, we'll put that on the back burner, basically. <laughs> Um, and so anyway, that was what was going on for me. Hmm. I can't tell how this looks very clearly, so let me wear my glasses. Oh yeah, there was a point where I was very insecure about having glasses, so... <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. It's a little weird. I think it looks okay. I don't know if you guys can see the look very clearly because this is the webcam. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some lipstick now. This is NYX. It's a lip liner. The color that I use is... It's mauve. Um, that's the color. So I shall put that on. Um, yeah, and so... Um, what was I saying? So basically those are my insecurities. I don't know what I was saying. Um, is there even anything else to talk about? I don't know. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, by the way. Don't take anything I'm doing as any sort of advice for anything. Um, I don't know where the lipstick I just showed you guys went, like, I just showed you the wet wild one, right? I don't know where that went. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, so I also think that, so after I deleted TikTok, I got way less into makeup in general because... I stopped seeing a purpose for it as much for myself. I realized that that was not really how I wanted to present anyways. And I just kind of stopped wearing it as much. I also got kind of uncomfortable with just how it felt on my face. I didn't like how it felt on my face at all. And like those are things I didn't realize until I sort of distanced from the environment and I was like, oh. I don't really like this stuff. I don't like how it feels. I don't like... I like how it looks sometimes, but, like, right now I'm not feeling like wearing makeup, so it just doesn't look good. It's just not coming out very well. <laughs> um, I'm gonna draw my eyebrows in a little more. Um, this is a Morphe brow pen. It's in black. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really use this very much. Um, yeah, so, I don't really know what else to talk about in terms of this. I feel like I should entertain you guys a little more, but I don't really know what to say. I guess I could talk about how my clothing ch style changed too. <laughs> when I was in school, like when I was in like middle school, elementary school, um, I had the kind of parents who would make me wear school uniforms even though our school didn't have a uniform. So we'd go to like the old Navy section. And like, you know the old Navy, like back to school section, like, like in August where they sold like khakis and stuff like that. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> Basically, I had to get my stuff from there. So, I was basically only allowed to wear, like, khakis and collared shirts up until I was, like, 17 or... Not 17. Up until I was, like, at least 15. Uh, that was the only thing that I was allowed to wear to school. And that definitely messed with my self-esteem or whatever because it made people think I was a dork. Um... Which, like, I mean, I was weird, like, I was a weird kid, but I was just like, this isn't really my style, it's my parents' style, obviously, because I'm 
14 or 13 like I'm not I'm not really choosing my clothes and everyone would come to school wearing like that justice tank top or whatever and I would be like <laughs> in like my collared old navy shirt so that was my reality so it made me feel really like weird about the way that I looked and so like I had a really bad so when I was first allowed to buy my own clothes or not allowed but I just kind of bought them like I had no idea what style to wear because I was also like just completely off the internet or almost completely off the internet because like, back in my day we had like the shared family computer like desktop version on the table or whatever and so I didn't really go on the internet that much and I had a flip phone because that's what my <laughs> strict families be like um and so i wasn't really on the internet that much i didn't know what the styles were so it was like the utmost like edgy thing for me to like wear like a normal t-shirt with no collar like that was like the edgiest thing i could possibly do like imagine even so and that was my reality um and so this is why I put a little orange on. Like I think it brightens up my face. Anyway, um, so we didn't bring any highlighter because highlighter annoys me because glitter annoys me. Um, unless it's in like one of those cream sticks, then I like it. Um, so that's the finished look. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is. This is pretty much as good as I think I can get it right now. Um, and I don't know if you can see it super well, so I'll try to... Yeah, so that's how it looks. Um, I feel like I should finish up this story, but basically, yeah, I had no sense of style because I was isolated from everything. So I dressed super weird, and I was also super insecure, so you know how that makes you dress even weirder. And... Oh, I also like to put this little spray on after I finish. It's this thing. Um, it's called Mario Badescu. I think that's French. Um, I love calling everything that looks like a fancy word French. Um, yeah. So, I didn't have any style back then, but I think I started to develop a style... Uh, when I transferred into a new high school because it was a new environment and I felt like I could express myself without inhibition or like without being within the constraints of the personality that you always construct in high school and you're just like, oh, I got to stay within this. No, I could branch out. And so like it was fun to like get accustomed to what my style actually was. Like I figured out like, oh, it's like sort of lacy tops and like flowy things and like floral and like dresses and like that kind of thing so i figured that out and you know my style changed over the years like now i would definitely say it's more tomboyish but back then that's what it was and so yeah i think it was it was a cool evolution um a lot of it had to do with self-confidence and also getting out of like the constraints and expectations of other people whether it be my family or like the other people in the school <laughs> and so yeah and like it was the same with makeup like just kind of figuring out and picking out what I enjoyed by looking at things yeah that's pretty boring I mean <laughs> that's just my life that's just real and that's that's the look so yeah thanks for watching I hope that hope that was fun